Hi guys, it's Memorial Day 2024. So what I'm going to be doing today is, I already started, decided to make a video on it. I'm going to be painting my roof or putting some roof coating on my roof. Okay, so this is the one I got from Home Depot. It's uh, $165, 5 gallons. It's a multi-surface roof paint. It's called a white reflective. Okay, now this one I got from the Lowe's. This one's called a, it's called a roof coating. It says to put one of these to five gallons. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. I just, I have another one. I have a couple of these. I think it's about fifteen dollars for a big one. You say five dollars to buy the big one instead of buying five small ones. You're supposed to do five gallons. Go ahead and put this in. This is my bucket with the water. This is the water right here. We'll go up now, we'll go up to the roof and take a quick look at it. Just the difference. Difference in Okay, so basically this left part here, all this left part, or the top left part anyway, this well, I guess all the left part really. About the first five feet over. It's all done with that one from Home Depot, the bear. Now, this camera doesn't zoom in very good. But if you look, you see where it didn't? It's a paint, so it's not like a coating. It doesn't protect the, I don't think it protects the shingles as good as the coating. Okay, now this right side, most of this right side, even right here, it's, um, it looks like it's protecting the shingles much, much better. It's like it's locking the shingles in much better and would, <clears throat> you know, stand up to a windstorm much, much better. Okay, so that's the difference 
between them. This side on here, so it went from Home Depot to top, especially the top right corner, all the way down. And then to the, the this right side, this half right side, is the uh, roof coating I got from Lowe's. Okay, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe. Bye now. Okay, so I finished putting on my roof paint or roof coating, whatever you want to call it. And I was doing the front half of the roof and I ran out of the product I had. So I had to go down and get another five gallons. So I went to get another five gallons. They didn't have the same type. Someone bought it up already. So, but they had the next best thing up, which is this one, which is, it says it's a 12 year, okay, a 12 year warranty. And it says it's supposed to stay white a little longer somewhere. Okay, somewhere on there it'll say say that. Okay, so what I did was I had another five gallon bucket. Okay, and so what I did was I I mixed these. I took three five. I had an empty one. And I had another five gallon bucket of the other material, and I had this. So I said, hey. I don't want to, you know, just have one area all white, so I mix this bucket with the other bucket, okay? So I will show you this on the front half of the roof. You know, this does look, to me, a little bit wider, so I had to pay $10 more for it, okay? But maybe it was worth it, you know? So we'll take a look at that, and but basically I go over the cooling cost. You know, this should, when I put this uh, yesterday, in the heat of the day with all my windows open, okay, it was like 91 outside, okay, inside my house, it was 91, okay, so basically, there was no wind at all, basically, the outside was the same as the inside, okay, so today, I said, I'm going to try something, I'm going to close all the windows, and I'm going to I'm going to turn on my window, uh, my 5000 BTU window unit, okay? I mean, and we'll just see what happens, okay? Because I know around 11 o'clock it's 89 degrees in here, and up around 12 or 1, it gets up to 90, 91 degrees. This, this always happens even when I put the roof coating on. Basically, if the, the roof coating was, uh, it keeps your house from getting, getting really hot. You know, in the attic, and that heat seeping down into the your house where you live. So, if you can keep that from happening, then you cool your cooling costs are much much better. Okay, and and it's just uh, you know, right right now my thermostat. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so my thermostat right now. You see that 82 degrees. 82 degrees now yesterday yesterday that was like 89 at this time easy 89 and it stayed here for a long time and then around 3 o'clock it gets up to 91 and that's with all my windows open same exact temperature as the outside you know underneath a shade tree or somewhere Okay, so what I went ahead and did was closed all the windows, and look at that. That's a big difference. It's only 82 now. So I have one 5,000 BTU unit running, so I can keep my bathroom closed, and I can keep my utility, my laundry room closed, because I don't need to be trying to cool that, and keep my drape closed, because the sun comes in there. If the, and if I leave them drapes open, that will bring my temperature up uh, degrees or two easy okay so but there's a big difference I mean a lot of people think 82 is too hot okay they don't like it but if you're inside this house and it's 91 in here and you have all the windows open you have the fans going I mean 82 is a big difference okay now I could run my central air Okay, now I can also do that, and that would be a big savings also. But I just, I'm just uh, seeing what I can do 
without the central air running, okay? So 82, I mean, we see it jump from 82 to 83, that's because if I open these doors, okay, if I open these doors here, if I turn on a, a bright light or something, it's going to, that'll pick it up. And that'll change back to, that'll change back to about 82. It'll stay about 82, 83. It fluctuates. I just turned off the light there, probably what was doing it. Enclose, enclose these now. I got my window unit in there and I got me a fan so I just blow all that cold air out. Okay, so I mean, that's a big difference. That's a bike too. So we'll go ahead and take another, uh, show you the finished results here.